Catchers is a widely used sample preparation technique, which is predominantly used for extraction of pesticides and other contaminants from food samples. Traditional methods can be costly, multifaceted, and time-consuming. Plus, different sample types require different methods, which can be complicated, laborious, and add to the cost. Catchers is a simpler technique. It's simple to implement and cost-effective and provides high-quality analytical results. Catchers stands for quick, easy, cheap, effective, rugged, and safe. The catcher's technique allows you to prepare a large number of samples in a short period of time due to the simple process employed. This, in combination with the low volume of solvent used and lack of chlorinated solvents, helps provide an inexpensive method. The technique allows the targeting of a wide range of compounds from various food samples and provides recovery and reproducibility levels in line with industry requirements. Typically, endpoint analysis is performed via GC or LCMS. Here's how catchers works. First, homogenize the sample by grinding it as much as possible to increase surface area. Break down cell structure and ensure the analytical test portion is representative of the whole sample. It's often important to keep the sample cold to prevent analyte breakdown. Cryogenic milling is recommended. Next, add the internal standard and the extraction solvent, typically acetonitrile, into the centrifuge tube with your sample. Shake vigorously, then add the extraction salts and buffers and shake again. For this step, you can use thermoscientific prepackaged salts and centrifuge tubes. Then, centrifuge the tube to separate the organic layer and transfer the organic layer to another centrifuge tube for the next step, cleanup. In this final step of the catcher's workflow, add DSPE, or dispersive SPE, to the tube containing the organic extract. The DSPE step reduces the concentration of fats, proteins, chlorophyll, and other undesired matrix components. You can use thermoscientific dispersive SPE for this step. Shake again, then centrifuge again. Then, transfer the final centrifuged clean extract from the tube to a sample vial. Your sample is now a fully clean, particle-free liquid, ideal for analysis. Some important tips and recommendations. Number one, if you must homogenize at ambient temperatures, work as quickly as possible and mix continuously when withdrawing your test portions. Number two, for dry samples like cereal, tea, and spices with water content less than 25%, you may need to hydrate by reducing sample size and adding water prior to adding solvent. Number three, during solvent addition, an internal standard solution can be added to monitor recovery and aid quantitation of target analytes. Number four, different versions of catchers use slightly different amounts of extraction salts and buffering reagents. Generally, salts are present to aid partitioning of the analytes from the aqueous to the organic layers, and buffers help to control the pH, protecting sensitive analytes. Number five, different versions of catchers use different dispersive SPE sorbents also. Typically, PSA is mixed with C18 for fatty samples, and PSA is mixed with graphitized carbon black, GCB, for foods with high levels of chlorophyll or carotenoids. Other combinations of cleanup products are available for a wide variety of applications. Number six, some pesticides, like those strongly protonated at low pH, require pH control and need to be buffered to pH two through seven prior to extraction. Number seven, after sample preparation, acetic or formic acid can be added at low concentrations to ensure stability of base sensitive pesticides. Analyte protectants like sorbitol, gulanolactone, or ethoglycerol are sometimes added prior to analysis by gas chromatographic techniques. In summary, the catcher's method has revolutionized sample prep and cleanup and has become the industry gold standard. Visit www.thermoscientific.com pesticides for more on catchers, including method details and downloadable webinars and application notes.